In this video tutorial, I want to show you how you can model the absolute towers easily in Rhino. So we will first discuss how we can model this by showing how Polar Array can uh, model this tower uh, by just modeling the first floor and then using the Polar Array tool to uh, model the whole tower. Okay, to start from scratch, I'm going to go to the solid section in Rhino and use the cylinder tool to draw a cylinder here at the center. You can just uh, type zero and enter to give it for the base of the cylinder and then just draw this, okay? And now I'm going to uh, use the gumball of the Rhino and scale this a little bit in the X direction. So we have the first floor here and now I'm going to explode this so we can have the top uh, or the roof and now we can scale this a little bit. You can see if I scale this in the X direction uh, we can uh, use the shift key to make it a scale uniformly in the X, Y direction tool. Uh, so I'm going to use the shift key and scale this a little bit out and now we can just extrude this by uh, moving this in the Z direction and using the control key. You have to have the control and move this up and then uh, uh, leave your mouse button off and then uh, take uh, your hand from the control key. So you can see that this will extrude this. Uh, okay, and now we need to make the windows on this. So I'm going to uh, use the unroll surface tool and you can unroll this uh, facade from this building or the first floor. And now we have this double click and have this unrolled and now I'm going to make windows on this surface so let's divide this edge so I'm going to use the divide and use this curve and divide this to maybe 20 or 15 okay division segments so we can snap to this for the window we can go for a rectangle and use this corner to this corner you have to have the O snap on and and choose the end near midpoint or these things okay now I'm going to scale this uh, control C control V copy paste uh, a copy paste of this and we scale this a little bit okay and I'm going to take this and go to the solid and use the extrude closed planar curve okay so we can just extrude this and have the window okay we can just change this layer into layer one so I'm going to change object layer and we have the window and the window frame we need the window too so I'm going to use the uh, rectangular planner surface and let's just draw this from this corner to this corner and we can give this another layer layer two, change object layer and we're good to go so now we have the base of the window and the window frame I'm going to choose uh, all of these two and use the array linear to make them copies so I'm going to use the array linear have 15 and the first reference point and the second is here okay so you can see that we have all, all the windows on this I'm going to delete the points so let's go to the selection and use the select points and delete them okay so what we're going to do is to put these windows onto the surface so I'm going to use the flow along the surface tool and we just choose all the windows uh, except the base one so I'm going to use the control key to delete the base window and add the window of this frame okay and we're good to go enter or space uh, the base surface and select a near corner so you can basically choose this corner or this corner and then select uh, the surface if you uh, select a corner and then select the surface and you see that the windows are going in just choose another corner so uh, basically I know that this corner is better so I'm choosing this corner and clicking on the surface and you can see that the windows come out so 
uh, you can easily connect, uh, select the corner you need and have the results. Okay, let's just delete the base surface and we have the delete here. We can delete these windows. And now we can have this floor a little bit bigger. So we can draw this down, okay. And here we have the base one, the base floor of the tower. So I'm going to uh, make the array polar tool. So let's just choose this and we need the height of the uh, first floor. So we can use the distance tool and pick a distance between here and let's just use the shift key from the front view and, and let's just use the tab. If you use the tab you can see that it will just lock in that direction. Okay, so let's just use a shift and a tab and go to here. Okay, we have 20. Uh, that's the height of the first floor. Okay, I'm going to use the array polar tool and array polar here and let's just choose this and the center is zero so I'm going to say zero and the number of the uh, floors here we can just change this to 18 and now we need the angle to fill so I'm going to give it maybe 180 degrees and you can see that the tower just comes up uh, the height of the each of these are just controlled with the Z, uh, the Z offset so the most important thing is the Z offset you can control that and you can see that we have 18 items the degree is 180 we can change that too but the most important thing is the Z offset so I'm going to use the Z offset and type the 20 here so you can see that this will just make it up onto that level okay so that's an enter and here we go we have the results you can see that uh, we have the tower and you can easily change the layers here and give them a material I'm just clicking on this material circle and give this a basic blue color with a transparency so I'm just increasing the transparency and so you can see that in the rendered uh, viewport you have the windows and here it goes that's it so uh, this is easily how you can manage the array polar tool and you can just produce whatever you want as a floor you can see that I can easily uh, draw a new plan and give this a height and maybe cap this and let's just have a distance here again uh, okay let's just explode this and if you want to scale this you can see that it will just uh, not have a uniform scale so you can just uh, duplicate border and use the border and I'm going to offset this curve out let's give it a distance okay and now I'm going to also extrude that to a solid okay we can give this a maybe a 1.5 and now we need the distance here again so I'm going to say distance from here to tab key and we have this 16.939 okay and now I'm going to again use the array polar tool give this a center the center is important so now I'm going to give this an 18, a 180 degree, a Z offset by that number and a 180 degree. Okay, you can see that this will give you the results. You can scale the model at the end. So go and select the last created object, move this here. Okay, and we have to select these. So I'm going to select everything. And now we can just scale this. Uh, you have to play with the plan so you have a better results you can see that I'm making this okay we can scale this a little bit so the results will go better and here you can see that you can use this technique to uh, model another tower so I'm going to talk about this in the grasshopper course also so you can see how easily you can model this in grasshopper so uh, feel free to ask your questions uh, underneath this video and thank you for watching